Welcome to the first annual DC Dance Improvisation Festival. Two master dance instructors enlighten us with what it means to coordinate in the moment and build a sense of community through movement. So basically the organization is about uh, advancement in choreography. We're looking into development of the art form into the 21st century by reflecting back on masters. And in the context of this, we created something called the Choreography Institute. And within the Choreography Institute, we're interested to bring master teachers. And of course, when we try to do something in terms of improvisation as a tool for choreographing, the idea came out with Katie and then with Ken, is for us to actually put together not only one master class, but actually a series of master classes, and then combining series of master classes made a little festival. And so that's our first kind of event, that is festival of improvisation. And we're hoping next year to actually do it again, bigger, better, and more massive, and with more people, and we just want to bring more uh, interest into the art form. As we move into exploring what it means to improvise, there's a really cool pattern and sort of a framework that you've got in order to do this, Yeah, right? it's called a score. Okay. That's what they, yeah, it's one of many scores. And that's, in this traditional sense, it's alternating between two partners where one partner starts, does a little bit, and then hands it off essentially to the next partner. Right. And then they collaborate and work together and then tweak and then go back and continue to improve. It's an iterative process, right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's also how I teach community events. It's all about rapid iterations in order to meet a deadline, let's say two weeks out, right. so you can continually move through that process and right. tweak and tweak and tweak and get a better event. Right. So this is pretty cool to see in action because we're getting a better dance. <laughs> yeah, it's an attunement process, which which you're talking about too for community, and it's the partly attuning yourself to oh, what works. Right on. That's right. awesome. Basically, uh, Ken and Katie were teaching uh, kind of a classical improvisational choreographers and artists, yet they're taking their platforms and their school of thoughts into another level that is 21st century new thinking. Uh, they're adding their own material, we're adding a little bit of European composers, new music that was created just two or three years ago. Um, so we're trying to kind of elevate the art form and, and prepare it for the 21st century. And so moving forward, we hope we're going to make again and we're going to be and in, in a way, it's a little spectacular what we, we had in the year, because I think within the space of two weeks, you got together oh, upwards of 50 people yeah. uh, to, to play together. Yes. Um, and uh, that's quite an accomplishment. It worked. It worked really nicely. And there, clearly there's a hunger and, uh, um, and a desire mm -hmm. on our parts to cultivate it. So, so a good start. I'm amazed at how quickly we, this all got kind of put together and how it just gained momentum and, uh, and we had a great turnout, a great way to come together as a community. We got a lot of people together, a lot of, and a lot of dance worlds collided today, which is really important. It was a success. I feel like it was a great success. And success. there's an interesting thing to build on there too, because so I come from a totally improv background with some training. Um, but the calling it choreography is for me, first of all, it makes sense because I think there's an underlying goal, which is that people like to play with each other and play for the sake of play. But a lot of the way that's arranged so it works, so it's easy, is with very rigid rules. Like with ping pong, you have somebody, you hit a ball on the other side of the table, you hit a ball on the other side of the table, somebody wins, somebody loses. Or with dancing, you have patterns. With improv, you open things up a lot more so that people get more choice and their personal impulses are part of the picture, but there's a lot more opportunity to fall off the edge of the cliff and, and not have it work. So the technology, which we were all three talking about, to provide a container so that people can play less rigidly, but still play together and have it flow, have it work, is a big question. And a, I think my hunger, my great interest and desire, and it sounds like for you two too. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I agree. So what does community mean to all of you? Many things. Um, first of all, what I'm just going to capitalize on what Ken said. Uh, today, the magic happened that we had dancers who have no dance training. They just, they just want to move. And we had dancers who have a lot of training and they had professional career. 
and then we had choreographers who were just hungry to experience, as Ken say, what is to play without boundaries, what is to play without restrictions, without floor patterns, without pre-choreographed steps. So we had all these three different levels of people suddenly being in the same room, exchanging ideas. Um, so I think this is community building, bringing different people together and make them work together. I mean, commune to, to, to connect and to share the choosing and share the moment with other people is, is community. And you can do that without connecting at all. But the hunger is to connect and to be able to use yourself, to, to fully engage yourself. And that's the mystery. How do you do that? How do you enable that? And I feel I, I'm uh, a lot of the work I do is very much in my head. Um, so the antidote is to get a chance to be in my body. And there's actually a lot of me in my body uh, when I give it the chance. So that's why dance has become a an important, really important antidote and part of my life. Um, and it's a little less complicated to connect with people. I think sometimes with the idea of improvisation, it's, it's pretty overwhelming for some people, especially if they've never done it before or don't really understand what it is. It's like, I have to make everything up on the spot. It's like, well, not really. I mean, there's often a score. There's often a framework, a set of ideas that you're set of rules that you're playing by and sometimes you can fudge the rules a little bit and ultimately they build on the notion that it's the pragmatics the practicalities of moving and coordinating and and also bringing yourself there that are all the limits you need but people lose track of what those pragmatics are um, and we're experienced improvisers and experienced in dancing with other people. So we've got some of that developed. This score is actually a little advanced to, to be able to click, yeah, but it's designed to help us click. Mm -hmm. so that actually, I think, was pretty much the first time we've danced together, danced together in an improvised duet. In, our, in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, you, you get to capture you get the one <laughs> film and our see what dance. you can do with that. <laughs> Katie, what is community for you? Uh, gosh, you said something really good. Now, I think as as movers, we're not all dancers, you know. So, like like Vlad said, some people came to this with a lot of uh, tr dance training, and some some with none or barely any. Um, but the great thing about contact improv and improvisation in general is you have all the tools already in your body. Uh, you don't have to come with with choreographed steps, and it's it's. Um, it is, a, it is an interesting, we, but, but all of us as movers, the reason we all came here today is because we express ourselves through movement. We like to move. That's how we, that's how we meet each other. We, we might be a little uncomfortable at, you know, a soiree with, well, until, you know, we've had a couple glasses of wine, I guess, but, but dancing, you put us in a room dancing together, and, and it's a different way of meeting people, and, and I think that's kind of how we came together today is, is through, through dance, through our bodies, and, and Getting, getting embodied, which like, like Ken said, is very, feels very good, feels very healthy and easy when you, when you just let yourself do it. When we're together, we're stronger, and uh, we're stronger in art, in politics, in dance, in, in everything. Um, so having that um, communal experience, uh, it's very important. That's very inspiring. You know, at the end of the day, we're all activists in a way. And, uh, you know, we are community organizers. And, when we see that the community is coming together and it's working and it's happening, uh, this is very inspiring. That's what we want. We just want to, we, we don't live for ourselves. In a way, we kind of live for the other people to be happy. And seeing them happy is, is what this is going to move us forward. Yeah, I'd say the common thread is the, the hunger to, to sort of be fully ourselves and moving. Mm -hmm. So in a way, you're, you're seeing a uh, uh, Elements of communities come together mm -hmm. uh, at this moment. We didn't know each other really well before. What is the most challenging thing about hosting a community event? Not knowing if anybody's going to show up. <laughs> it's pretty much like a watermelon. So, you know, you take the watermelon, you kind of knock it, you hope it's good, you're trying to figure out if it's going to be a good watermelon. But we don't know until we go home and <laughs> cut it. In. 
So it's pretty much the same with community event. We're doing everything possible to bring the people together, preserve the space, prepare for reception, get the music ready, prepare our plans for teaching. But we never know until we get into the studio with the dance bodies. That's very exciting, you know, just preparing everything and crossing your fingers, our fingers, that all the moving parts will come together, gel together, and it's going to be well done. And usually, a good preparation is, um, gives good results. So. Making a community event is very much a, a gardening thing, where you're trying to cultivate the right seeds for the soil and all that.